Welcome back gamers to Pokemon Sword. Last episode we had just defeated Hop in the tournament arc. Now we're gonna go see what uh, Lee is up to. Leon, excuse me. I was like, Lee, that doesn't sound right. Marnie, man, why am I here for this? I'm totally exhausted from that battle with you, David. We decided that Team Mio will cheer you on, David. Let's help out together. What a beautiful display of sibling love. This is got it is entirely unnecessary. Miss Olena? Chairman Rose is with the champion in a very, very important meeting. There's no way I will let anyone interfere. How did you know we were gonna interfere? After all, I only after all, only authorized personnel with a proper key can ride the monorail to Rose Tower. That means as long as Chairman Rose is in the tower, no one can disturb him. I have heard I have hand selected a member of the league staff and given them a key. Chairman Rose does enjoy these kind of menial games after all. Do you think you can tell the difference between normal league staff and the one I chose? Yeah, he's got Do you think you can find me? What should we do? This isn't good, but I got this one. Team David, Team Yells, Yellen will handle this. No, this is brilliant. I'll search around the front of the stadium. For now, we should try to head to the plaza together, right? Yeah. Alright, let's all work together and head for the Rose Tower. Let's find Olena's League staff member. That bad one was wearing those lame shades, right? Well, it's not this guy on the left. Neither is it that guy. Uh, that's him, isn't it? That's him. Hey, David, this bloke's awfully shifty, but I can't get him to turn around. Say something surprising so he'll have no choice but to look this way. We already have the key, you know. What? Blast, I turned around, and I can't escape. In that case, time for a Pokemon battle. Marco, Cosmos, Eric. Who am I leading with? Oh, it's evil. Uh, sure, this, this could work. My cheers will really get you going. Thanks for the help. Well, I didn't need the speed boost. But we'll snarl. All I need to do is hide, and I won't have to give you the key. I mean, okay. Uh, fine! I guess it wasn't going to be that easy, huh? It's a wonder how fast the guy could run. I've got no idea where he went, Gov. He went this way. How'd you find me? Or did you just talk to everyone you met? Eh, whatever. I'll defeat you this time. They say hide a tree in a forest, so I thought I could hide myself in the crowd. And I'm still going to let him run away. This, <laughs> okay. All right. But you're way too observant. But I'll win this time and make my getaway. This has to be the last one. Ah, uh, yes. Steelix. I remember when they first invented Steelix. I always hated it! Hiding didn't work, and battles didn't work. Only thing to do now is run. Break his legs, somebody. Seems like you got me cornered. But I'm not gonna give up. An earful Miss Elena is way worse than that. Anything you lot can do. Good luck catching me on the monorail. Okay. Team Yell, go find Hop. We'll corner the league staff member at the station together. Ah, damn it. Kusso. Probably what they're saying in Japanese. Oh, hello. You did a cracking job of cornering that bad league staff member. Let me sing you a fitting song of your rockin' deeds. The only thing a humble singer can do is sing a humble song. Huh? Maybe I can cheer someone on just with the tunes I play. Maybe my songs don't make anyone happy. Maybe I can't help. But still, the only thing I can do is sing. Sing my humble song. Piers! Go, Piers! Hey, isn't that Piers? What, why is he doing a street performance? I think he made a station performance. Come on, let's see if we can get closer. Oh, that's the guy who said his Zizagoons really love a beat. 
They set that up. The Zigzagoon can't turn down a sick beat, a sick tune. We got the key, Pierce. We can take the monorail to Rose Tower now. David, hop, now's your chance. Go, get out of here. All right, Rose Tower. Oh, I see the thorns around it. I get it. That is why it is called Rose Tower. Or they might have built that because they called it Rose Tower. Whichever came first. So this is Rose Tower. Just how tall do you think it is? I can't even see the top up there in the clouds. Well, luckily for you, it's a clear day, so... So what should we do? Team Yell's gonna have their hands full holding up those bad league staff members. <coughs> Doing Pierce <coughs> really hurt my throat. They won't be catching up anytime soon. Yeah, David, what should we do? Uh, no, let's go up ahead. We're fine. You have me. Good thinking. Let's go collect Lee and get out of here. Without him, there's no champion for you to challenge the Champion Cup. In the Champion Cup. And his name was Lee. Well, Leon for... is his full name. Lee for short. So maybe I wasn't crazy. David, you cleared the way to Rose Tower. Now all you gotta do is charge on ahead. You're so adorable, Marnie. An employee... An employee's an employee, I guess. Seems that exec lady hit the monorail key to try and impress the chairman. Chairman Rose has been keeping the champion holed up inside. Wonder what he's been plotting. The plot? Oh, hey, Pierce. Times like this, when tension and passion run high, remind me of spike months in the old days. Some right wild concerts we had back then, but no encores. Wait, you're still here? You better get going. I'll send some support your way with a yell. Gotta stick around to make sure my bro doesn't do anything too crazy, right? Come back if you need anything. Let's go. <laughs> I like Pierce. Um, real quick hop, let's check around the corner. Haha, <laughs> there's gotta be a hidden TM or oh, an item. Not entirely worth it. Let's check the other side. Another item. A cell battery. Fun. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on. Ooh. Look at the roses in the bottom. Whoa, it's huge in here. What in the world is this place meant to be? Listen. I don't know if you knew this already, but I've heard Rose Tower was built on a power spot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. When we get up to the roof and have a bit of space, we can Dynamax our Pokemon. So who are we going to battle up in the top? Which is all well and good, but less certain is whether this can lift us to get us to the top. Rose Tower has like 100 floors, right? Don't tell me I have to... Oh, you'll be leaving right now, so there's no need to worry about the lift. All staff are ordered to help improve the... All staff are ordered to help remove the intruders from the premises at once. See, if Ms. Elena says so, then it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. I'll get rid of the intruders. I'll probably get a big bonus. This is Elijah. Durant. I'm gonna give up my own pocket money? <laughs> Losing means I'm back in the red. No, you can have your 4,800 back. I don't wanna, I don't wanna rob you. But my bonus! My dream of finally affording a house of my own. Here, I can loan you some money. You don't even need to pay me back. I feel so bad. We need to speak with Chairman Rose. Tell us where he is. Get on the lift. The chairman's at the top of the building. All right. We're nearly the chairman rose. Hold on, Lee. We're coming. Come on, David. Let's crack on him. Let's crack on. Not crack on it. Rose. See that? I can read. There's three doors. Oh. They all just lead to that. Oh. Okay. We're going to skip all the floors. It's nice. It's This is taking ages. I didn't even count how many floors we've passed. What? I don't think we're at the roof yet. Why have we stopped? Oh. Are we going to battle all, all the way up? Um, Hop, you don't mind if I hydro cannon here, do you? I'm going to hit that Q-Fin. Oh, I guess it is just like a bullet. Rose Tower is almost a thousand feet tall. You are now about 500 feet above the ground. If you were to fall from this height, you would most likely meet your end. Unfortunately, our insurance doesn't pay out for being defeated in Pokemon battles, so we're just gonna go. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we go up ten floors. Oh my god. Can you imagine falling? We made it to the top. Top of the world. Olena, what are you doing here? Wait, where's the chairman and Lee? Oh, we get to move. Alright, let's uh well no, we'll leave with our starter. He's doing fine. What was if I go backwards? Hold on. Oh. Oh, okay. Welcome to Chairman Rose's exclusive space. You're nearly a thousand feet above the earth. So you got all you got through all of the special staff that I had ordered to stop you. I would expect nothing less of the trainers handpicked by champion Leon himself. But I am afraid it is now time for you to go home. Because I will not allow anyone to disturb the great Chairman Rose! You shall be the first. If I beat you to pieces, then the champion will have no one to battle and thus lose heart. In that state, he will listen to anything the chairman says. She's got the crazy eyes. Is it okay if I still like you? The way you... Oh my goodness. You're kind of... You know what? Never mind. You're a, little, you're a little scary, I'll be honest. Starting with the frost lass. Oh, she's back to her calm demeanor. Oh, that's right, we can Dynamax. We need not have to do that now, though. Actually, it, it, it... Oh, critical hit! We got a headshot! That's what we call a headshot. Uh-oh, my Hachiki, to do such a thing as to hurt my partner. <laughs> Keep your calm! Oh, I could've Icy Wind, but U-Turn's probably the better move anyways. Going for the Senta Scorch. The perfect switch in against a Serena. Sorry, my uh, Senta Scorch is looking for a another Senta Man. My Lotic, she's got all the beautiful Pokemon. Ooh, this might not be a good idea if it's got Ice Beam. Aqua Ring, okay. I don't know if that'll help you though. I don't want to set up because she's got a diverse team. So, unless I know who is on in her team. It's probably better to just attack. And look, we're doing what he, we're doing crits all over the place. That's a lazzle. I'll do toxicity just in case she wants to poison me. I ain't gonna deal with that. I'll just send my own poison so she can resist. Aha! What? I'm still poison. Oh, that makes no sense. I don't know how I'm poisoned. Toxicity, you're liter you are literally poison. Is this my last Pokemon? Seriously? Olena's gotta finish this. Garbodor. That is the. <laughs> oh man, I don't want a Dynamax. Not at this state. We'll have to swap. Garbodor's poison. And Teleon? I know she's gonna Dynamax. I think I'll treat you to something truly spectacular. Look at those angry eyes. Holy crap. Got like all these toys in it. And a substitute doll. And a poke doll. We're living. We living. Special defense rose. The hydro cannon max geyser. It'll start to rain too. Well, I'm taller than you. One more will do it. Your special defense means nothing in the face of rain. Take this! Our final attack! I want to see your face again. Oh, oh! <sighs> I wasn't able to win. Elena, you really are a hopeless woman.
Uh, this is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made it this far would be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried you to, de to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do as you wish. There is nothing to be done now. Typical David, you and Inteleon are unstoppable. Everything I did, I did it to further the chairman's own goals. Oh, they were there, so they were just, like... Did you guys not see that Dynamax battle right behind you? What is this? Leon. We've discussed this a hundred times already. And still you fail to understand what's at stake? You, who was supposed to be our champion. I think I understand well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from affecting any of us. What difference is one day going to make? My duty as champion isn't this. This madness. To carry out that championship match. That's what Galler wants. And what I want. It's what we've been looking forward to for so long. No, you don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Look around us, Leon. Look at the Galler region stretched out before us. And know that the energy required to keep this brilliant, glittering world alive will be exhausted a millennium from now. The people of the Galler today would no longer even exist. What Galler wants today hardly matters. The future is more important than just one day. We must act as quickly as possibly, as we possibly can. We must take action in order to avert tragedy so that all can look forward to a better future. In a thousand years. Fine, look, I think I understand your concerns, Chairman. And I give my word I'll help you with your plans just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. Lee, you never showed when you were supposed to, so I got worried that something had happened. Piers and Marnie and all those Team Yellow oddballs, they all helping us out to, to get here. I must apologize to you, Hop, if we've made you worry at all. There are times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of this, Hop, David. Let's head back to the hotel and we'll grab dinner together, yeah? It's on me, so you can order whatever you fancy. If you'll excuse us, Chairman Rose... And I do hope you'll watch tomorrow's match. It's sure to be one for the history books. Hmm. One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We, no. I'm going to change the course of history. The next evening... This is it. Did you get enough sleep? You and your team are the ones battling, but I've had Butterfree in my stomach since I woke up. Challenger David, the finals will be starting shortly, and I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Didn't you learn your lesson yesterday? If you need another helping of Hop and his trusty Cinderance, I'll help you give you this one. I'll help you give you one. No, wait, please. I'm not like those other League staff. I'm a good one, if I may say so myself. I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Elena can be a little extreme in her desire to assist the chairman with his goals, I'm afraid. It seems she was cultivating her own group of league staff in secret to be deployed for, well, things like that debacle last night. But you've no need to worry about today's staff. All of us are here for the right reasons. Well, that's what she says. I guess we trust her then, yeah? Let's go. I can't wait another minute. I know, me too. I want a battle. Hopefully it's not interrupted, but I guess if it is, hopefully it's before and not during. This is it. Here at Wynon Stadium, the greatest stadium in all of Galar. You're going to show everyone the greatest battle ever, mate, and set the world on fire. So go get yourself checked in. Okay. Ball guy. No, you are only going to talk about the dream ball again. Oh, that girl has her Pokemon evolved. We've been talking to her every gym. John and David, remember the semifinals and finals are just speed bumps on your way to facing Leon. You have to win. Oh. Are there more? I thought we were going to challenge Leon. Okay. Challenger David, we've been waiting for you. Since you won your way through the semifinals, you must face off against the gym leaders in the finals, and they won't be holding back. Whoever makes it through this final bracket will win the right to challenge the champion. So, are you ready to go to locker room now? Yeah. Ooh, I get it, I get it. Okay, so the gym leaders also get a chance to be champions. 
Oh, Piers gets to be here too, huh? Hello, Piers. How you doing? I'd say I aim to win this thing, and I'll do it without using Dynamax to help everyone at Spike Moth reclaim our, their pride, and to see them smile once again. Hello, Nessa. Not a long time. Lo oh, that's what I was about to say, where I did say, long time no see. This will be a different sort of battle than you face in the gym challenge. Those were basically test matches, but this, this is a serious battle. Oh, I'm excited now. Hey, Rayhan. I'm going to win my way through every round, then I'll be the one taking on Leon. If I don't, then I'll have to fail to repay Duraladon and the rest of my team for all their hard work. My first match is to get Rayhan of all people. What rotten luck. But even if he changes the weather around, I don't plan on throwing the towel in so easy. I'll be bringing my matches to an end in a heartbeat, you'll see. No one who sees them will ever forget me. I'll always press on and challenge myself so that I can go on as a Pokemon trainer for as long as possible. As long as you continue to push yourself, your balance will never fade. Your brilliance will never fade. Is that what he said? Brilliance will never fade. Hello, B. It's a curious feeling. My heart is racing a bit, but I still can't wait for the match to begin. Oh boy, I'm gonna save too. Um, I don't know who I'll go against first. I, so it's not Milo and Rayhan. If it's Nessa, I think I gotta go with a neutral. Like Thievil. Thievil's a good lead. We'll, we'll start with him. Will you be heading to the pitch? The opening ceremony should be starting soon. I'm ready. Then in you go. Here we go. Now we're up against the gym leaders. A tournament involving them. I wonder who I'm going to face first. I feel like it's Nessa, I'll be honest. Maybe B? It probably goes without saying, but <laughs> hello, Geller. I'm your champion, Leon. The chairman is tied up with some business, so I hope no one minds me stepping in on his behalf in order to lead you all to greater heights as Pokemon trainers of the Galar region. The time has come for you to battle it out until the greatest challenger remains. So, on behalf of the chairman, allow me to say, let the final matches begin! Wait, you... Huh? Oh, BD? Oh, he represents the fairy type jam. Who's that? A, mo if, a moment, if I may. Does anyone here even remember me? I am Beatty, the challenger who was forced to withdraw from the gym challenge. Beatty? He's the challenger endorsed by the chairman Rose. He's in the challenger endorsed by Chairman Rose himself. I have a score to settle with Challenger David here. I'm aware that this is against the rules, but I must ask nonetheless. Let me battle him. I stake my career as a challenger on this battle. If I lose, I'll retire from being a trainer. What an unexpected turn of events! Former Challenger Beatty has come for one last battle. We are currently debating what to do with Challenger Beatty. To all of our viewers, both here in the stadium and at home in front of the telly, we ask that you please be patient. I know this is ridiculous of me, but I had to say something. Do something! Ever since you showed up, everything I've done has gone wrong. It was Olena who asked me to gather the wishing stars for the chairman, but then the chairman himself disowned me. And then that strange old lady comes out of nowhere and drags me into a boot camp on fairy-type Pokemon? Do you even have any idea what I've been through? Covered in pink, dealing with quizzes and battles with fairy-type Pokemon every day? And here I am, pouring my heart out to you when I've never lost my cool before! We've reached a decision, ladies and gentlemen. The champion himself has accepted BD's sudden interruption. Is the champion showing his love by giving every trainer a chance to grow stronger? Or is it a trial for Challenger David? My will hasn't been broken yet. Well, let's let's do it then, BD. I'm, I'm leading with evil, just so you know, so... I know you have a problem with dark types, but if you truly are the fairy type gym leader now, then maybe you will have a chance. Starting with the Mawile. Alright, great, great lead. That means I'll have to switch out. We're faced too much to quit now. We've got no choice but to win. Luckily, I wasted his small walls intimidate. What we'll do is parting shot. Lower the attack while we switch into Senta, Senta Scorch. Toxicity could also be a big help here, if nothing else is still type. And assuming he has an, has an entire fairy type team. Go with a Fire Lash to get rid of the Mawile real easily. I don't know, oh, it has Intimidate, so 
It won't sturdy this. And I don't think it even has sturdy in the first place. Gardevoir. We can bug bite that one, actually. Leech Life is the actual name of the move. Uh, it's not super effective, but it is more better than Fire Lash, right? No, it's the same. I just get health back is the difference. We'll Fire Lash it instead, actually. Lower the defense. I thought Thievul would be your crutch, but uh, it seems it's going to be Senti Scorch instead. We'll Fire Lash again, because she doesn't have... Oh, never mind. Now she does have a lot of health that I could have absorbed. Oh, well, at least I still got the Shell Bell. Wow, that was a one-hit game. Oh, that's right. Your defense did drop. That was something that happened. Rapid Dash. This is so... Beautiful. Look at her. Him. Excuse me, sir. Well, we'll uh, leech life. We all know who your ace is. Do another leech life. Uh, uh, uh. What's with that calm expression? Think you're gonna win? I mean, I'm doing pretty good so far. Uh, it would be crazy for me to... Oh, it has a third form. Hatterini? Hatterine? She's so gorgeous. I know you're going to Dynamax her, so I'm going to also Dynamax as well. Uh, Max Flutterby. It lowers the target special attack. That sounds good to me. Here we go. Alright, what do you got? Does she have a Gigantamax form? We'll show you a truly great pink. It's time for my dear Hatterene to gi Gigantamax. Oh yeah, she does. Kinda. Oh, half. It's fine. We lower her special attack. Oh, we heal. Oh, from the shell bell. We're fire type. We literally bathe in lava. I'm just kidding. I don't think Scent of Scorch would actually like that. We'll do another Flutterby because... Even though the sun's up, and that would have been much more beneficial to use the fire type move. There you have it, BD. He looks content. I couldn't win, but at least I was able to show everyone how great fairy types are. Well, I lost. It looks like Challenger Beatty was no match for Challenger David and his trusted team. Hey, Beatty, that was an awesome match. Don't retire, just restart your career. But, uh, but this isn't what I planned. If I, was, if I was able to defeat you, then everything would be fine. 
Even if I lost, I was going to use retiring as an excuse to get away from that old lady. You just keep messing up my plans. With everyone cheering me on like this, I have no choice but to continue my training as the fairy type gym leader. Though I suppose with my talents, I'll be able to overtake Miss Opal in no time. The stadium is filled with the voices cheering on these two young trainers. Now, Challenger David, please head up back to the locker room so that you can rest up from that unexpected match. Who was I supposed to face then? Rather surprising for Challenger Beatty to barge in on like that. In any case, once you're ready, please head to the pitch. The finals are about to begin.